So today we're going to be talking about GG4, Analyze Data to Compare Properties of Planets. So the first thing it's asking is that it's asking about Neptune and whether it's more than 100 times as large as Earth's. So Neptune is right here, 6.25 times 10 to the 13. And Earth is right there, 1.08 times 10 to the 12. So uh, just as a quick heads up, guys, if you go from... 10 to the 0, that is equal to 1. 10 to the 1 is 10. So each time you're different by 1, you are increasing it by or multiplying it by a factor of 10. So 10 to 0 to 10 to the 1 means that there is a 10 times difference. So from here to there, you can see that it's going to be at most 10 times difference, maybe a little bigger, but definitely will not be 100 times bigger because it would have to have been at least 10 to the 14, if not greater. So this one should be false. So for this one, we're going to look at the volume of Earth and the volume of Mercury, and whether Earth is more than 10 times the volume of Mercury. So Mercury is 6.08 times 10 to the 10. We know that Earth is 1.08 times 10 to the 12. Once again, we know that roughly a difference of a factor of 1 is 10 times larger. We know that a difference of 2 is roughly about 100 times larger. So this question should be true. All right, so this time we're going to look at Jupiter and see whether Jupiter's volume is 10,000 times as large as the volume of Mars. What you'll notice in 10,000 is that there are 1, 2, 3, there are 4 zeros. We're going to take that into account when we do this. We know that Jupiter is 1.43 times 10 to the 15th. We know Mars is 1.63 times 10 to the 11th. So in order to see if it's more than 10 times, 10,000 times the size of volume Mars, is that we're going to have to increase the value of Mars by 10,000. So the easiest way to do that is that since there's four zeros and we're taking and it's 10 to 11. We're going to increase the exponent on the volume of Mars by 4. So instead of 1.63 times 10 to 11, it'll be 1.63 times 10 to the 15th. So if Jupiter is more than 10,000 10, times larger, then that means that the volume of Jupiter needs to be greater than this. And as we can see, 1.63 times 10 to the 15th is bigger than 1.43 times 10 to the 15th. So therefore, this question should be false. For this question, before I move on to stage two, it's asking whether the largest planet is made of ice. So the largest planet needs to be the one with the greatest volume. So 10, 11, 12, 11, 15, 14, 13, 13. So this one has the greatest volume. So based on information, you should be able to figure out whether this statement is true or false. So for stage two, you're looking mainly at the speeds of the objects. So we're gonna look at the orbit speed of Saturn and Mars orbit speed. So Mars has an orbital speed of 24 kilometers per second. Saturn has 10. So the question is, Saturn orbits the Sun at more than 50% of the speed of Mars. So 50% of 24 would bring you down to 12. So in order for Saturn to orbit the Sun at more than 50%, its speed needs to be greater than that of 12. So for this question, we're looking at Uranus, and we're looking at the speed of Saturn. So it's saying Uranus orbits the Sun at more than 60% the speed of Saturn. So Saturn's speed is 10. Uranus' speed is 7. 60% of 10 is just 10 times 0 0.6, which would get you 6. So if Uranus' speed is more than 6, then you should be able to figure out what the answer of that one is. All right, and final question for today. Uranus is more than 100 times as far as from the sun as Mercury is. 
So Mercury is 5.79 times 10 to the 7. Uranus is 2.87 times 10 to the 9. For it to be more than 100 times as far away from Mercury, that's uh, two zeros, by the way. We're going to have to multiply this number here by 100, which basically means that we need to increase the exponent from 7 to 9, because we have to bump it up by 2. So 5.79 times 10 to the 9. So if Uranus is indeed more than 100 times faster, it should be greater than this number. If it is not greater than that number, then the answer is false.